Hi everyone, my name is uh, Trisha Lyons. And I'm Lisa Kimball. And we just finished our session on soaking souls. Taking Take baptism seriously. <laughs> and we're exhausted. Um, um, from Here's what we talked about. We talked about the fact that there's a lot of lost opportunity in the church. Um, people talk often about inviting people to church and connecting when they get to church. We talk a lot about evangelism. Um, we talk a lot about clericalism and like the overfunctioning of, of clergy in our church and the underfunctioning of, of people. And our presentation was basically about if a congregation really understands what baptism is, what it asks of people, and what it gives to people, mm -hmm. that that's the revolution that touches all of those things and creates a community of people who that is a universal priesthood. Um, so we could have even talked about different ways to solve all the things, or we could talk about baptismal identity as the way forward to address so many of the concerns in the church that have to do with people not feeling connected, not feeling called. So we had a whole lot of fun. She did the systematic theology, I did the practical theology. So we talked about what does it mean to take a vow, like for real? And what does it mean to take vows that renounce evil and then to turn to Jesus, to turn our lives and live with promises we've made in community that are radically different than the dominant culture we live in. And so we talked about how do we connect people's experience of the world with this identity as a Christian? And what are the real ways congregations can do that better? How do you raise the bar on congregational accountability? How do you raise the bar on comfort? Talking about things like Satan, talking about things like evil and systemic racism and systemic oppression and environmental degradation and economic injustice and not just talk about them with convictions that they're wrong, but talk about them because we are Christians who promised that we would take down those powers and those principalities in Jesus Christ. So we had a lot of fun, but we also were pretty serious. We also talked about the fact that being a welcoming church and being a hospitable church sometimes means we sacrifice being willing to stand for anything. We're and afraid to say that there is an initiation. You know, right. we screw tape has convinced the modern church um, that if we if we say that there are things that we believe and don't believe and that there is a threshold that you cross in baptism right. and you're either on one side of it or you're on the other. Uh, screw tape has convinced people that that is against the gospel where the truth is the ministry of Jesus begins with baptism. So today was about just saying to people don't not only don't be ashamed but get excited um, that every baptism is a revival. I mean if you're here for the revival in, in Atlanta and think gosh I just we need a revival in our church. The font is the architecture <laughs> for the revival in every person's life and for the community to see it again and again. So if you're baptized, live it. Live it. Be brave, be bold, take risks for Jesus. If you're not yet baptized, please find out what you're missing. Amen.